Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about how to get your dub 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 version of your domain to link to your non dub 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 version for your domain of your domain and not display a 404 error or a page not found or something like that. So in essence, it should look the following way. See here, we now have our example.com domain, which we named toystore.com and we basically want to achieve the following. We don't want the dub 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 version of toystore.com to actually display this here and the site can't be reached, like have an error, right? What we want it to be is we want to direct the dub dub version of toystore to the HTTPS uh, toystore.com version without the dub dub dub. You, we could do with the uh, dub dub dub, but in our case, we want to have a non dub 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 version to actually in the end display this website here, as you can see, HTTPS toystore.com displays very nicely and fine. So that's our aim. So let's get started. How do we do it? In essence, we have to do a few configurations in our DNS settings. This is so powerful and so important because I have been playing around with that and I didn't get it to work initially, but I got it to work now. And I just want to help out other folks that go through the same process. So. A few things. I'm hosting my website or my domain. Actually, my domain is being hosted. My domain name is from GoDaddy. But my website project, so this here, is hosted on Replit, which is a hosting provider in essence as well. You could have a different one like Hostinger or Bluehost or whatever. So the issue in this case is now you have to tell your domain provider, GoDaddy in my case, to link the A records, they're called A records, to my IP address or point to the IP address where I'm hosting my domain, right? That's in essence what I want to do. I can show you that in GoDaddy, how it looks at the moment. One sec. Okay, as you can see, I've shared my DNS records page from GoDaddy here in a screenshot because it's just easier. Um, as you can see here, I'm in the DNS section. Uh, of my GoDaddy respective of the respective domain. And I have my A records here, as you can see, A records for this IP address and A record for the dub dub version to this IP address. And down here, further down here, I have the text records for the at version. So this is all, the at is always the root domain um, with a value here that is being provided by Replit. And the same thing here, text record for the dub dub version with the respective um, verification link, so to speak, or verification yeah, from Replit. Okay, so how does it work all together? First step, let's get back to our Replit interface. As you can see here, I went to deployments and I deployed the kind of temporary URL that I'm getting from Replit, which is such a long number, uh, something like B5675500, 5 million, I don't know, 10 million. Uh, there are like probably 30 numbers or 40 numbers in that uh, whole string. And then at the end, it says something like dev.dev.replit, I think, um, which you can display, but of course, who would share a email uh, a domain like that? So then I went into the domain settings. I created a shorter domain, which is actually um, available through Replit. I, I think you don't actually have to pay extra for that. But it's also a domain which will be like something like um, a name that you choose. You could, for example, choose Toy Store, Toy Store dot Replit dot App, something like that. You could do that if it's still available. Then it's way shorter, but it still has this Replit the, at the end and the app, which is very unfamiliar for people. So I had to buy a website address or a domain name, which I did through GoDaddy, um, which is way shorter. As you can see here, it's way shorter than this one as well. And how's the process now? So how do you get the DNS settings to actually show the website in a way that you want it to, to show it on the dub 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 version and the non dub 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 version? Okay, so you go in there, you link your domain. As you can see, I could link another domain, link a domain, and you link the dub 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 version of the domain and you link the non dub dub version of your domain. Then it will display these records here. It will display an A record and it will display a text record. This is then pre-selected the dub 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 because it's the dub 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 domain, right? Um, so it will automatically insert that and then it will give you some records here, which will be the IP address where your website is being hosted and it will give you a text record, which mentioned will be something like Replit Verify, etc. 
both of these records here on the dub 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 version but also on the non dub dub version will be the same okay once you have those and you have set them up in here and you have verified them and you get that uh, green uh, circle here you're all good to go you can head over to your uh, GoDaddy account okay let's just do that real quickly um, yeah, this again okay you head over to your uh, GoDaddy account you log in and then you create these records because they won't be in there yet right they, they that will be gone and also these down here you have to create them so on top of your GoDaddy account a little bit further up it says like add new records in a black writing I think on a black button so and then you go on this and you add a record and then you say okay a record there are different records available c name records text records a a a a records and many more mx records i think uh and etc cetera, etc cetera. so you go in there you add the a record you add a name which will be the root domain and you add the ip address which we just saw before which we got from this page here right so it will be the a record it will be the ip address and it will be the root domain so that would be this one here's the root domain this one here is the dub 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 version right this one here that we're looking at is the dub 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 version um so you do it for both that that's in essence it uh, you put the ad you put the ip address here you do the same a record again for the dub 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 version and then the ip address and then further down here you do the same for the text version you add the uh, root domain and the dub 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 version with the code that replit gives you and basically to be really honest that's it in most cases um there might be some web server issues that you have to resolve so it could be that your web server is not actually redirecting from the non uh, from the dub 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 version to the non dub 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 version um it's not a big issue though because you can uh ask the assistant like in replit you can ask please um show me the file where you are handling the um, redirects from dub 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 to non dub dub or if you don't have it please set it up you could do that then it creates a file once you have the file in my case it's the index.ts you can click that you can see all the code in there so there's a lot of code there um, then you can take it this code in my case because I tried that this way and I couldn't display it still so I don't know maybe there was a bug in there or something but I took the code I uh, put it into JetGPT and then perplexity so perplexity.ai I believe it is so it's also good for coding and debugging so I put it in there I asked the the agents uh, or the or the, the the chat in the chat basically um, if they can you know suggest a better code that I can use I took the code I asked the assistant to implement it in the index tiers and update the existing code I tweaked it a little bit uh, did that maybe two three or four times and then it really worked and all my settings rolled out properly and I could actually connect to my website and it worked really fine there are two other things that I want to show you because they're quite uh, insightful um, first thing you can also check um, your redirects afterwards because often when you add a records you know you can get a bit confused to be honest because you add an a record here you add an a record here and then if you don't really know the environment that well it's really good to actually check it so there is a website which is called let me just go back here so you can access it through the link https https status io so that's the page here um dot io and in this case for example we can just make a really quick example to check status codes codes um, as you can see here you want the green ones at the end right it has to be green at the end otherwise your website won't display so let me show you this for toystore.com which i have as an example as well as you can see toystore.com and the https version of Toy Store, you can access it but then down here the dub dub version actually fails to load which i showed you also in the initial screenshot so let's go back to google let's show you how it should look like so as you can see here we can now check how the redirects work so you can either hover over there or go in the drop down it tells you 301 redirects to the http dub, 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 dub version of google so basically from this version um, it's being redirected to the http version with the dub dub and then furthermore there's another redirect which is a um, 
302 uh, <coughs> was a temporary redirect, not a permanent one, to the www.google.com uh, version. So in essence, what that means, if you type Google into your browser, google.com, uh, you hit the enter button, you copy uh, the URL again, and you paste it in a sheet, in a notepad or something, you will actually see in the end HTTPS um, and then dub, 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 google.com and not the google.com version because that's what it's doing here. It's redirecting, redirecting up until this version. Okay. Okay. Let me show you an, a different example because that's, as you can see, the other way around. It, at the end, it actually displays the dub, 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 google.com version. In my case, I didn't want it this way. I wanted it in the end to display as the google.com HTTPS version. So without the dub, dub, dub. And there are examples in the internet that use either way. So it's not really, you know, um, consistent. Some companies do it this way, some do it the other way. If you look at carpetcode.nz, they again have done it in the same way I have done it. Dot, 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 carpet code, you enter this in your browser in the end. So first of all, it directs you to the HTTPS version of dub, 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 and then in the end, it directs you to HTTPS carpet code and set without the dub, dub version. See, and that's how it works. I just a little disclaimer or not disclaimer, a little uh, hint, I guess, rather. Um, I've seen most big companies from, I don't know, Apple, Airbnb, Google, Amazon, hotels.com, booking.com, ebay.com, alibaba.com, aliexpress.com, airbnb.com, all the big players, they actually use a redirection how Google does it. Like in the end, it links to the dub, dub, dub version, like here, oops, I'm gonna open this, sorry to the dub, dub, dub version of Google with the HTTPS and smaller players, as I showed you just before, like Carpet Code and Z or even like many local stores that maybe have, I don't know, a few local stores, physical stores, they usually for some reason use it without, usually not always, it can be either way around, but I think it has to do with the credibility. So if Google, if you uh, copy a Google domain, like google.com from your browser, then somehow you want to share it, right? If you copy it and then I think Google just wants to have the dub, dub, dub for credibility to make sure for people that it's really a, a, a domain link or a domain. And some people are more used to it still, like especially maybe the, the slightly older generation, they are more used to the dub, dub. So I think that could be the reason. So I'm just making it up here, but yeah, anyhow. Uh, that's the one thing that I want to show you. And then there's another thing, and that is basically this tool here. This is basically the DNS checker. As you can see, I've already in, uh, included, um, I don't like those uh, advertisements here. Um, I've already included this domain here. I can actually do the following. Let's just wipe it away for a sec, reload the page. Let's put google.com so we can see this as well. You select the A record here. You can also use a different record, like the text record that we actually updated right now um, to see if it has been rolled out globally. That's basically what DNS propagation means. It means if you're sitting in the US right now and let's say in San Fran and you want to access my page, are you actually seeing the latest um, page um, like in, in, in according to the change DNS settings um, that I have been implementing, or do you see, see maybe an, an older version of that page? Um, so let's just check that. As you can see, um, google.com has been rolled out across the globe. As you can see, it's yeah, accessible through throughout the entire world. So anybody sitting in France or Madrid or in Austria or UK or Germany will see, oh, there's one Mexico or not, but all others, they will actually see the latest DNS settings. Uh, for example, let's say they did the same thing. They made a redirect, then they will see the redirect now and will be able to display the website. And yeah, I guess that's mainly it, uh, what I want to get through. I hope that was helpful. Um, and if you liked that, yeah, uh, please consider subscribing and spread the word and let's get the message out there. And I hope it was helpful for you. And yeah, keep watching, keep learning. Bye-bye.